We're here in one of my favorite parts of the entire world, and that is the Algarve. I come here year after year, and you can tell why. Scenery like this, fantastic golf courses, great food, even better people. That's why I tend to come back year after year. Yeah, I do come here year after year too, but I'm guilty. I think a lot of other people do. I just go to Villamora, but it's so nice to come to a different part of the Algarve. I'm really excited to see what this has got to offer. We're currently walking along Porto de Moss, which is about 10 minutes from the uh, city of Lagos in the southwest of the Algarve. So please, if you do go to Villamora every year, it is great, but this place is only 45 minutes away in a transfer or a hire car. You get to experience views like this. Bondia from one of my favorite golf resorts in Europe, and that is Palmares. You can see from the views behind me, this place is pretty special. There's also three loops of nine here. You've got the Lagos, Alvor, and Prior Nine. I've been coming here for years. The Prior Nine holes is so much fun. It's, it's essentially Lynx golf, which is very rare to find in the Algarve. I love it. Nath, first impressions? Annoyingly, the big man does know a lot about golf, and he's never normally wrong. Um, I've got to say, I've never been this far west in the Algarve. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm really enjoying myself and it's an exciting day today. We've got a new recruit, Dex, with us. He's making us look good on social media. Dex, how are you loving the Algarve? Well, with views like this, it's much better than being in the office. Let's drink up and uh, let's get out of there. Eh? I love my golf, but if there's a beach by the tee box, got to check it out. How about this for an on-site accommodation? Doesn't get much better than this, does it? Right, so we've now just stopped off at the Boa Vista Golf Resort. Location-wise, this place is great. It's roughly 10 minutes from the main town of Lagos. Great restaurant options there, plenty to do. And then you have some of the best beaches you'll see in the Algarve, roughly sort of five minutes away, like Porto de Moss. This place is great fun. I've played here many times. It's one I'd definitely come back to year after year. Got to say the big man is right. Really fun golf course, very forgiving, and you can really open your shoulders up and give it some willy. And it's definitely a course you should stick on your itinerary when you're booking with golf breaks. But now we're on the sixth. It's a long hole, 175 meters, so about 216 yards to the pin. Wind interface. Got to give it everything I've got. We're here at the Panina Golf Resort. Great location with Boa Vista and Palmares just 15 minutes away. Panina once hosted the Portuguese Open. You can roll straight out of bed onto the golf course. Great value for money. What more can you want? Roughly five minutes from the Boa Vista Golf Resort and call it 10 or 15 minutes from Panina and Palmares, you have the great historic town of Lagos. I would highly recommend having a walk through this place when you next visit the Algarve. There's great restaurants in town, great bars, historic monuments you can visit and views like this. As I said, if I was coming back, I would definitely go to Lagos.
It was an early start this morning, five o'clock to be precise, but all is excused when you get bought to beautiful results just like this, Quinta de Largo. We're standing here on the 15th signature, one of the signature holes, par three behind us. And uh, if I had the money, it's where I would live. Baldy, over to you. Yeah, I mean, this place really needs no introduction. I'm sure everyone back at home, you might have even been here. We're standing on the south course, but this place is home to three courses. So south that we're on, the north and Laranjal, all are truly world-class. This whole resort is very much five-star. Great hotels, restaurants, beach right on site, fantastic facilities. It's one of these places, we'll just let the camera do the talking. When you turn up to the golf in Quinta de Lago, you're always greeted by the very friendly staff at the bag drop section. Now let's take a look at the clubhouse. And after playing some of the best courses Portugal has to offer, take yourself out here, take in the wonderful views of the south course, the first, with a cold beverage in hand. You've got to love the Algarve. And to the left of me, a personal favourite hotspot of mine, the shack. Delicious food, refreshing beverages, and so many activities to keep the kids busy. And if you want a break from the golf courses, why don't you come and check this place out? The campus, it has everything. World-class gyms, tennis courts, football pitches, and more. But for now, I'm off to go and get a coffee. Here's another accommodation option, just a stone's throw away from the Quinta de Largo golf courses. Great value and even better location. Welcome to the Magnolia Hotel. If you're looking for that modern five-star experience, you seriously have to consider this hotel behind me for your next trip to Quinta de Largo, and that is the Conrad Hotel. This fantastic property offers superb restaurant options, great rooms, friendly staff, and location-wise, it couldn't be more perfect. Right next to other bars and restaurants across the road and all the best golf courses are right on your doorstep. So that is the end of part one and what a beautiful place we've come to, the Conrad Hotel. And one thing I've got to take away from the Algarve, I've never been to places like Lagos. It was beautiful, Palmares, that's one of my favourite places on our whole trip so yeah. far. And um, it's definitely a place I'll come back with the kids, take them to the west of mm -hmm. Algarve, mm -hmm. the beaches, hotels, golf courses, it was superb. And um, now we're back on home turf, Quinta de Largo, where we normally come to. I just absolutely love the Algarve. Yeah, as Nathan said, um, you know, what, what a backdrop to finish us off with the Conrad Hotel in, in the background. Um, we come here a lot. You know, we've admit we come here with, uh, with families, with friends. It's just a fantastic destination for golf. It has everything, you know, world-class golf courses to suit everyone, accommodation to suit everyone, fantastic climate, great food. It just has everything. So, you know, if you ever want to design your own Algarve trip, we have fantastic product on offer please speak to one of our European sales agents back in the office and they'd be more than happy to help. Now, to give you an idea of where we've been in part one, take a look at this map. So we flew into Faro Airport from London and we headed west and visited the Boa Vista Golf Resort, the Panina Golf Resort, Palmares Golf, and checked out Lagos Town. 
We're now roughly a 45 minute drive away further east at the Quinta de Lago Resort. Home of the North Course, South Course and Laranjal. We also checked out a few hotels in the area. The Wyndham Hotel, the Magnolia Hotel and where we're sitting right now, the Conrad Hotel. As I said before, if you're thinking about booking a break to the Algarve, please give our European sales agents a call back in the office. These guys and girls really, really know their stuff and they'd be more than happy to help. And for now, we've got a dinner booked in the Conrad and I'm absolutely starving. Let's go and eat. Let's go. Thank you for watching. And if you want more of that inspirational Golf Breaks content, please make sure you subscribe and get that bell ring.